Welcome to the Lend Me Your Ears podcast, where we explore practical solutions to your sales problems. Today, we bring you a thought-provoking article titled, Don't Be Too Quick to Sell Simply Because the Buyer is Eager to Buy. Originally published on lendmeyourears.co.ke. Our journey begins in a remote corner of Kenya, 16 years ago. My girlfriend and I found ourselves aboard a 14-seater Matatu in eager anticipation of our journey. One hour passes before the third passenger joins us, leaving us bored and restless. Frustrated by the delay, I propose a seemingly brilliant business solution to the driver, why don't I buy all the seats and expedite our journey? However, the driver's response catches me off guard. He resists the idea, emphasizing the importance of prioritizing the needs of his regular passengers over a quick sale. What a country bumpkin, I tell myself. Another three hours later we mercifully start our journey in the most comical fashion. Darting around like a headless chicken we stop at the dispensary, two schools, the market, a shop and three other places to pick up passengers. We even pick one outside his house, and another we wait for as she finishes a conversation. When the dashing hither and thither ends, the matatu is full, and mercifully we are on our way. The driver tells me, I make one trip every day. I would have agreed with you and made my money. But what about tomorrow? You wouldn't be here, and my regular passengers would have felt betrayed. I was ready to buy but he wasn't selling. I was humbled. All along I was the foolish one. This seller intimately understood his product and buyers. He welcomed new buyers, me, for instance, but never lost sight on which side his bread was buttered. Not even the allure of a quick sale shifted his focus. His refusal to rush into a deal taught me the importance of understanding both your product and your customers. This same attitude resonated with an aged fruit seller I once encountered, in another village. When I proposed buying her entire stock, she wisely asked, if I sell everything to you today, what will I be selling tomorrow? It turned out she had positioned herself to fulfill her weekly demand of buyers who met for a weekly agricultural briefing at a church. Selling me all her fruits would have met her sales targets but, as with the Matata driver, it would have compromised her credibility with her captive market. She understood the delicate balance between meeting immediate demands and preserving future opportunities. It was a moment of revelation, a stark reminder that successful salesmanship transcends mere transactions, it's about building trust and understanding with your customers, even if it means sacrificing short-term gains. Now, let's shift our focus to a globally renowned car hire firm, a tale of short-term gains leading to long-term losses. When presented with the lucrative opportunity to cater to a visiting contingent of the U.S. Army, this award-winning car hire firm, renowned for having steady jobs locally, eagerly seized it, neglecting their loyal local clientele in the process. The promise of a hefty six-month contract blinded them to the importance of nurturing existing relationships. But when the Army's contract expired, they found themselves in a precarious position, scrambling to regain the trust of their once loyal customers who, feeling neglected and spite, had found alternatives during their absence. Its brand was no longer enough to get them business. Now they were out with begging bowls, hanging their heads, forced into humility. To date, they have never recovered. All because the allure of a quick buck blinded them to biting the hand that fed their business. It's a cautionary tale that underscores the significance of maintaining long-term relationships and prioritizing customer satisfaction over fleeting profits. If only they had wisely asked, if I sell everything to you today, whom will I sell to tomorrow? These anecdotes highlight a fundamental truth, the allure of a quick sale can often lead to long-term consequences. Whether it's a Matata driver prioritizing the comfort of his regular passengers or a car hire firm neglecting its loyal clientele for short-term gains, the lesson remains the same, successful salesmanship requires a deep understanding of your product and your customers' needs. Thank you for joining us in another exciting Lend Me Your Ears podcast, and don't forget to subscribe for more hair-raising insights and practical solutions to your sales problems.